Hey there, Selena here, and this video is going to be tips for traveling while pregnant. So he is uh, back there um, watching Minions, so if you hear that, that's what that is. It's the only way that I'm going to get him to... Um, sit quietly so I can do this video. I promised to do this video probably for the first time about a year ago. I was about five months pregnant and I traveled from Georgia to North Carolina and then from North Carolina to Ohio. We only stayed in North Carolina for a few days and then again I probably promised to do it um, when I was about seven or eight months pregnant and I traveled from Ohio to Washington. So I've traveled cross country while pregnant. Um, so I figured I would uh, do this video and share my experiences with that. The first tip is check with your doctor before you're traveling, even um, if you are traveling by car. Um, and it's like if you're a high risk or if you've had issues with your pregnancy your doctor may not want you to go too far just in case something happens um, so it's always important to check with your doctor I was having issues with my fibroid and then where my fibroid was it was also like right there where the seat belt lays but my doctor said um, that everything was um, fine I can travel if I want to that's entirely up to me but it is always important to make sure that you check with your doctor the next thing is to plan to stop every two to three hours when you're pregnant and I believe in the third trimester and possibly the second trimester, I think second and third trimester, it's very important that when you're traveling that you stop every two to three hours and get up and walk because um, pregnant women are at a higher risk of developing blood clots in their legs. So it is very, very important that you get up and walk every two to three hours um and so it's you have to plan for that because I know um I'm used to traveling by myself not pregnant I can drive four hours straight without stopping at all um but when you're pregnant you need to stop those extra times on top of you may also have to um pee more often so it's great to make sure that you plan those out I also will put right here um, a website that you can put in your route that you're going to go and it will give you a list of every single gas station on that route and then there is actually another app that I used um, while traveling with him that will tell you where the nearest rest stop is bring lots of snacks and water when you're pregnant, it is very, very important that you stay hydrated. So make sure that you bring lots of water with you. Um, buy a big pack of water if you're going to be traveling for a longer period of time. Otherwise, just a water bottle may suffice. But make sure that you stay hydrated. And we all know when you're pregnant, you get hungry. So bring lots of snacks. There are fruits that are actually really good. Um, that you can actually leave out and don't have to worry about keeping cold so um, oranges apples are some good fruits that you can take with you or your favorite snack chips I think what I had was veggie straws he's beating the tablet I'll show you guys him uh, at the end of this video so this one is also kind of important um, you may not be able to stop every two to three hours maybe it's the route that you're on or there's nowhere for you to stop and you don't want to stop on the side of the road. So what you can do is if you are in the car, you can um, just move your legs as much as possible and move your body. But what you really want to do is move your legs and get some circulation to your legs so you can bounce your legs or kind of kick your legs or something like that. But of course only do that if you're in the passenger seat or something of that nature and you're not driving. Make sure that you stay safe while doing this. But if you cannot stop right away, move, do some kind of movement with your legs so that you can get some kind of circulation to your legs. Um, and the last tip 
Uh, I will talk about two other things, but the last actual tip is, um, I don't know if you know, but there's a proper way to wear a seatbelt while you're pregnant. So if you're going on long drives, please, please, please wear the seatbelt the correct way. Um, the way that you wear the seatbelt is the lap belt, so the belt that would normally go around your waist. You have to make sure that that part is going underneath your belly is and is not around, like on your belly. Make sure that it's going under your belly and that the chest part, make sure that's also up off your belly. You don't want the seatbelt to be like actually on top of your belly. Um, okay, so the other two things that I'm going to talk about aren't necessarily tips, but I wanted to include them. I moved at the end of my pregnancy, like move, move, like, so I moved from, um, living in one place, to living in another at the end of your pregnancy. That's not the best time to do it. If you have the option to move before then, then do that. Even if you have help, try moving before then. If you're going to be moving different cities and you're going to have to change doctors because I honestly really got lucky and there was one doctor left when I moved I believe like I said I was seven or eight months pregnant and when I called my insurance only had one doctor left open and I did not like this doctor but I really didn't have any other choice um, so if you are moving make sure that you don't do that and you have to change doctor make sure that you don't do that at the end of your pregnancy and the last thing is um, one thing that I did I'm not telling you to do this but one thing that I did um, to help uh, my feet and things like that in the car, um, I lifted my legs up, elevated my legs so that they weren't um, always lower so I would sit with my feet in the chair or something like that. It's not the safest thing to do, but I can say I did this during, the, during my third trimester. So when we went from Ohio to Washington, I did this and I didn't get any swelling in my feet at all whereas the first time when we traveled from Georgia to Ohio I had quite a bit of swelling so um, elevating my feet actually really helped a lot with that maybe if you can elevate your feet a little bit and that'll help you so now I'm going to show you guys him and then that's going to be the end of this video so he's got the tablet he's supposed to be watching the tablet but hey He's quiet. So, thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry this video took so long to do. That's yeah. So, um, new video every Wednesday and every Sunday. And until next time, deuces. Like, if you have them up. <laughs> He's actually starting.